So. Some of our viewers might not necessarily be from Montreal, but Montreal has quite a few things that are very <laughs> well known. In <laughs> particular. <laughs> so like take for an example, poutine. Our worst, mm -hmm. our worst traffic on the planet. Potholes. Mm -hmm. Quebec roads. Maple syrup. Maple syrup. Well, that's, yeah, that's Canada. That's Canada. Like, oh, but Quebec, Quebec is yeah, the Quebec. biggest but producer Quebec. of maple syrup Absolutely. in Canada. We do yeah. have a lot of maple trees. We have millions and millions of liters in savings, uh, like in yeah. reserved yeah. reserves. Just in case the zombie reserves. apocalypse comes, we'll have we'll have maple we'll syrup. have ammo, maple syrup. We inject that stuff on a daily basis. <laughs> mm. syrup. Give me that liquid pancake, baby. <laughs> <laughs> so, with these few stereotypes that revolve around Montreal, die. <laughs> Guy? I said, yeah, eh? Oh, I was like, guy. Hey, I wanna give me a moose head, eh? <laughs> give me a moose head. <laughs> we also have a recent mayor who has lasted longer than No, he has. Mayors. No, well, no, the longest mayor in Montreal okay, history in was recent Gérard times, Tremblay, but We went through three mayors in the span of a year. Come yeah, on. well, they were all interim anyway. Yes. Well, so they were like, dare. we're gonna put this interim, like we had the greatest mayor in possible Montreal history. And then he stepped down because they were trying to implicate him into some kind of thing that he had nothing to do with. And he was like, all right, guys, I'm out. I'm going to go enjoy my retirement or something, you know? Like, this guy actually saved the person who was getting mugged on the street. You remember that? He remember saved the, that. There was a woman getting mugged and robbed on the street. And he stepped in and beat the crap out of the dude who was mugging her. And then, like, citizens arrested the guy and then called the police. It was nuts. Our mayor did that. It's crazy. He's cool. Anyway, so after him... They were like, we're gonna put this one guy in. And then they were like, oh, he's been here two weeks. Scandal. <laughs> so then they moved <laughs> another guy. That's another thing Montreal's known for. Corruption. <laughs> Corruption. Yeah. Oh, and let's not, of course, forget our favorite hockey team. The Montreal, Montreal Canadiens. Canadians. The what? You no? mean the world's best hockey team. The world's best. Yeah, historically so, proven. Back to this article and why we're bringing up all these world-renowned knowledges of Montreal. Uh, one of our Montreal local video game creators has created a video game in honor of our, as he says, very cute mayor. Very cute. Oh my bad, there's no way in it. Very cut man. Very, uh, he's very cut. He's lovable, he's charismatic. So what this game allows him to do is to ride on a Bixie bike, which is a rental bike system that we have here in Montreal. Which does not work And very you have well. to jump over our potholes while eating poutine and our mayor is in a Habs jersey. Poutine, or for everybody outside of the Quebec area, poutine. Life. Or life. <laughs> but also poutine. Poutine, the, poutine. The, Don't say poutine. Yeah, the we'll actual the actual word poutine. in French is uh, poutine. Poutine? Yeah, like Vladimir Putin. Like, like Putin. Like, yeah. There you go. So like Putin. Putin. So just think of Vladimir, Vladimir the bear hugger Putin. Vladimir good. French fries, gravy, and cheese. Vladimir French fries, gravy, and cheese. <laughs> Which is, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So long story short, this video game is going to be short and sweet. Maybe he'll develop it to create more levels with more Montreal references. So but for now, you're trying every to Montreal avoid local puddles. will love it. Oh, if you fall into a pothole, you did. <laughs> that makes a lot of Which sense. Is like real life. Well, I mean, I fell into a pothole. Okay, like, okay, okay. Everybody, okay. think of one element that would be really cool to add to this kind of game. Go. More orange. Pylons. Oh, 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 I have one, I have one, I have one. If you're, if you're going through the, through the streets, yeah. just make sure that in every block there's either a church or a stripper bar. <laughs> <gasps> even better, even better. You have to have pedestrians who just walk in the middle of the street without paying attention to where they're going. Oh, that would be a really good, a really obstacle, good like obstacle. Yeah. What else would be really good? I have um, one. Oh, random, random parts of the street that just cave in. That could be cool. Yeah, you're or, standing on and then psh, disappear. Or random parts of buildings that just kind of fall off the buildings and trying to hit you while you're on like, the One bridges. of the problems has to have construction trucks in <laughs> There could be a level where you're on the Champlain Bridge. <laughs> while it's crumbling. As it's crumbling <laughs> under your bike. So you have to try and, it's like that level in Battletoads where you've got like the, 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 the wall of fire chasing after you and you also need to like those little like speed bike things. Right, That'd so be crazy. Ron, there, there should if be. you're listening to this, we can help. Yeah, we can totally help. Game there's, designer, music composer, voice actor, QA. Not on strike. Not on strike <laughs> voice actress. I have an idea. An upgrade shop where the owner is Asian. An upgrade shop where the yeah. owner is Asian? Yeah. Like, like every Depaneur. Oh, because every Depaneur. Yeah. So it's a Depaneur. Yeah, Depaneur. Yeah. That's racist. Oh, by the way, Depaneur for most true. people. Because I've had this experience before in the United Pardon States me. on multiple occasions when I ask a police Door officer, 
a police officer on the corner in New York, New York City, and I'm like, yo, where is the nearest Depener? And he's like, what? <laughs> and he looks at me, he's like, what the hell are you talking about? And I'm like, uh, uh, Mark. convenience store? And he goes, oh, down the block, turn left. I was like, there you go. So it's a convenience store. Uh, what else could be cool? So the Asian owned convenience store. Asian owned convenience store slash upgrade For your spot. Upgrades, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Strippers in the background. Strippers in the yeah, background is kind of a necessity. Yeah, or homeless, you can you can recharge people. your health. They charge at you. You can recharge your health. Oh, you know what's great since you're Mayor Kader, and I'm not making any any affiliations to you being corrupt because by far you are the coolest we mayor so really far. We actually enjoy you. But we enjoy you on a daily basis. <laughs> Awkward silence. You guys make it sound like we But what would be really cool is that you have uh, les pots de vin, you have um, <laughs> wine uh, wine caskets <laughs> that you can pick up for money. <laughs> <laughs> and then you can spend those at the stripper bars to regain health. Yeah. <laughs> that would be good. It would be pretty good, it right? Would. And it would be really cool where as you walk past the strip clubs, the bouncers at the strip clubs yell obscene things at you. Like... And then and, and you could have like a winter stage. So during the winter, they look at you and they go, come warm your hands up on some nice warm tits and stuff like that. Because these are things that they yell a at you. A winter level would right? actually be fantastic. Yeah. Wouldn't it though? It would. And you like slip and slide everywhere. And then it's like, you can add on clothes, but like the less clothes you wear, the harder it is. So you have to literally <laughs> make him into this giant warm ball of something. Dude, what's this guy's name? There's Braun. Another, there should be another Braun? Braun? Jory? Jory? Sandwich. Braun? Oh. Jory? Jory? Mr. Braun, get in touch with us, bro. Because you, you, we already know. We're fans. We're fans. This is a great idea. I'm only and thinking about what kind of hellhole we live in. <laughs> He's we, like, we, why we are there so many why did obstacles? I, why did I immigrate <laughs> to this place? We live in a city of comedic relief. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'll get and, and it'd be really cool to like fight for some of the things that Kodera has tried to fight for, like keeping bars open till <gasps> six. He should have, there should be a special level mode where he just takes a bat and just destroys Canada Post boxes. <laughs> <laughs> yes! That's amazing! How many posts can he destroy in a small time limit? Oh, that's amazing! Oh, I love you, it! But, like, oh, but the thing is, the, po the Canada Post box, like you have to have one on the side of a building and he has to jump <laughs> up to get it. You have to have one that's like, they have to be tricky. In spots like Canada Post po box, blah, blah, blah. They have to be located in spots that they shouldn't normally be. Yeah, what, like what about dumping here, stuff on the river? Yeah, since that's the latest hottest news. Yeah, no, there's actually, there's actually they, mention of this in the article. Yeah, and he that, said himself, he's like, he's got a great face, he's lovable, and aside from the pollution and the dumping of the poo into the river, I have nothing against him. And let's face it, there's already worse stuff in our river. Yeah, I wouldn't go for a dip in the river anyway. Oh. It's like you go in and you come out with chemical burn. I like, I like to reference it as the opening scene in The Simpsons where the squirrel falls into the water and then comes out all mutated. That is the same word. Like a third eye, like a second tail. That's it. So call us. Yeah. We're fans. We'll help. We'll promote. Did everybody do the kiss? No. No, I'm watching Mike with horror while he does that. <laughs> <laughs> what if you're from Montreal? What would be really cool to have in the game? Yeah. Tell us. Let us know in the comments below, and, Let's and make we're it gonna happen. we're gonna bring it up, and we're gonna have a thing. This is gonna happen. We're even gonna apply to like CMF, <laughs> try and get money to make this game for real, <laughs> like all consoles. <laughs> is that it? Is going to be hey guys, if you liked our video, don't forget to like, Xbox subscribe, Xbox and check out the others that we have. You can also check us out on Facebook at Too Much Sugar Films, and don't forget to hit us up on Twitter at TMS underscore films. Thanks! Um, it's coming out...